Hey, welcome to another prototype review. Today we're going to talk about the Savage Crucible Dwarf. So, let's get started. This one is a little new to me. It's a little different body. He's a tiny, tiny dude. And I'm here for it. Tiny dudes unite today, right? So let's get started on it. Back up the camera just a little bit. There we go. And let's talk about the look on our dwarf. Just like with the others, we have our shoulder pads are attached to the arm. And they can come out. So that's one thing I definitely want to talk about right out the gate. So if you wanted a bare-bodied uh, dwarf, you have the attention to do so. Uh, well, the ability to do so, right? So that means we can definitely get our T-pose, as you can see here. So that means allowing the same to be done over here. Let's take a look. And it looks like even with our pad on, we'll be able to hit a T-pose. If you're very curious about that. Unlike the others, this is the only one I know that is single jointed. The rest seem to be double jointed. But this one seems to be the only one that has a single joint. We do have a shoulder butterfly, right? That rotates in, as you can see back here. As far as our ab crunch goes, this is what's also gonna be different as right now we seem to have little to none. Oh, I was wrong. That was just some paint in the mix. So we actually have that uh, Mythic Legion style articulation here. So that seems to be what the case is for the dwarf. Ooh, I'm dropping my cats, right? So there we have that. We gotta be a little bit more careful with that. We have a vertical hinge right now on our weapon holding hand. Same here on our left hand. As far as our legs go, we can go about this far out. I know our sword sheath is on a ball joint, so it allows us to rotate it, right? Let's see if I can remove this front piece. And it seems like it should be removable, but I'm not going to uh, <laughs> break anything. As far as going upwards, we have a little bit of a hindrance with our skirt of our, I don't want to call it a jacket, but of our shirt, our long shirt. It's going to hinder a little bit of that articulation there. And we have single jointed knees as well, but we can rotate left and right. We do have some ankle pivot going forwards and backwards and a little to rotate to the left and right. Uh, it's a little tighter on this side than the other, but as you can see here, we can do that. So it looks like our dwarves are going to be dwarven. As far as our head articulation goes, we have a nice rotation here on our head sculpt to the point where it's on a very nice ball joint. You can see right here. So it looks like he will probably be the most limited in terms of articulation, but a couple of things are going to help it in place. One of those is being that we have that shoulder butterfly articulation. But I do like the way this dwarf looks. He's definitely bringing uh, a nice visual to the mix with that. And I'm glad I was able to pop this off and we can talk about it. But as far as looks wise, I do like it. I'm a little bummed about the single joints, but there are a bunch of accessories that I'm hoping are gonna come with it that help complement that look. Cause I do like the dwarven style. I do like dwarves. So thems and goblins, I'm here for it. But um, yeah. So let's talk about some of the accessories for our dwarf. Let's jump into that. All right, now we're gonna talk about our accessories. Now this is what's crazy because I think for what the dwarf lacks on articulation, it's probably made up in accessories so far for the things that I've reviewed. And it's crazy too, because um, <clears throat> you get a, a lot of stuff. So the first thing I wanna do is let's talk about our hands. You're actually going to get a set of trigger hands. So you're going to get a nice set of trigger hands left and right that means they're ambidextrous either way you want to make them and the reason why that is because our dwarf will come with a pistol or at least a uh, his version of what would be a pistol all right and it's actually pretty cool a little musket type uh, mini pistol in no set of hands you'll also get as you see our item holding hands that are vertical you'll also get a uh, closed fist so you'll get two closed fists these are on horizontal hinges. Next up, you'll get another pair of item holding hands because these ones will also be the horizontal ones while you have the vertical ones on. Let's change that focus. So you actually get a nice set of items, right? That is just for that. Now we have stuff like our sword, sword, which as you can see, can be sheathed and held, right? We have it nice and held there. You'll also get options for an alternative belt. We have a different loop here. We also have an option to hold an additional piece on our back. But again, I'm not sure how any of this works just yet. I'm just goofing off with prototype pieces. 
let's say you can also want to add something to the front as well so a different loops for different options with this alternative belt one of the other cooler items is that we also have a crest guard now you uh, well I don't want to call it a crest guard but an armlet guard you may have noticed this opening here there is an opening for a guard piece to be held and I'm not sure if I have this the right way I want to make sure yeah right you actually can get this to be held right there little arm guard right looks really cool you'll also get the option of different heads and helmets so then you'll have this armored, armored alternative head which looks really good there's also a neck plate and chest plate to protect it in case you want to change those options and I'll actually show those in the photos you'll also get this really rad helmeted sculpt which you can use in conjunction with that chest plate as well you'll also get options of an axe I'm not sure if this is going to be a full set or a, a, a Kickstarter goal. I'm just unsure yet. But these are the accessories I had packaged with them. What's also cool is it looks like you'll have alternative uh, headdress options. As well as other types of options here to match our helmet. On this one, it's in there, so I can't really get it out. But yeah. Either way, this is really, really dope. Like I said, so far he's come with the most accessories so far, but he lacks the most articulation. So it kind of makes sense. With that being said, let's get ready to jump into our size comparisons. All right, guys, now we're on to the size comparison. This is where it gets fun because the dwarf is small and we're gonna try to fit him in frame with a bunch of guys who are bigger than him. First off, let's start with the Paranoid. So there we are. And now we see a huge size difference. And this reminds me of like the Legend of Vox Machina where it's like the dwarves are really small, but also it's, it, it fits because they're small guys. So, you know, next up, we're going to do Barbarian. I feel like this one really works. The Barbarian is very, very fragile. So I got to be very careful with him, right? So here we are. And look, that is a big size comparison, but I do like it because it shows you the size wise of it truly being different. Also, the grin on his face is killing me. It always makes me laugh every time. <laughs> so let's remove these two, right? Next up, we'll do, oh, we'll do my main man, Lizard Man. Lizard Man, Lizard Man. Right? Here we have it. Showing you. Dwarf next to him. Then if you want, you can try stuff like the Mezco Conan. So we know how a Mezco size out with dwarves. And Conan is a little bit on the smaller side, and he still looks like a pretty much bigger guy than that of the dwarf. So I feel like that scale is right along the size of that. I'm also going to break out a Mythic Legion's Dwarf. Forgot to take one out before I got to the size comparison. I'll add it in at the end. Here we are with a Zestray Studios trainer and a Mythic Legions, a normal size 1.0 body. And again, I feel like this really, really works. You know? I, but it also could be because I'm watching The Legend of Vox Machina. So it could just work for me. Here we are with a Marvel Legends and a Lightning Collection. Here we are. Next up, we'll do a Veliverse. Again, if you want to mix up your universes, have fun with that. I'm here for it. That's ruled out right there. And now, I'm going to take a brief pause because I'm going to jump in to show a Mythic Legions Dwarf next to our Savage Crucible Dwarf. Now, here we are with a Mythic Legions Dwarf, right? And then we'll even, because I love the Goblins, Goon Squad, Goon Squad. So here we are with a Goblin as well. Goblin Builder on top of that. And I got to say... I like that we can have a variety of different lines and it really makes me happy now that we can do different things like this because not everybody's the same size. Most people are not the same height or even look exactly like. So having variety and making things look different is something I truly have enjoyed lately. And I love the fact that we have a variety amongst toys and lines to mix and match because that's what it's all about. Um, with that being said, thank you for watching this video on the prototype dwarf. Uh, sticking it out with these size comparisons for me as we have a bit of fun and more importantly thank you to everybody that's been watching as of late i do appreciate it it means the world to me so you guys have been checking in and making sure i'm good uh and a lot of you are learning that i do things outside of youtube because it is not my whole life <laughs> and that's been fun so as always please be good do good drink your water guys later